Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a coloring book review for Around the World in 80 Colors, Coloring Across the Continents. I got this book from Amazon and I paid less than the um, recommended price of $14.95. I paid, I think, $12 something for this on Amazon. This is one of those coloring books you just never know. I haven't found any reviews for it anywhere. There was no comments about it on Amazon. Um, so I kind of bought this blindly, and I'm so glad I did. This is a great, great book. Let me see if I can zoom in one here. Yeah, here we go. Um, this is just one of those books that are like, wow, I can't believe that no one's done a review for this yet. Um, I want to start off by doing... Uh, my normal, I'll do the dimensions here. Uh, 9 by 11 inches. 9 by 11 inches. Um, the front cover here um, has a matte finish on it. It is very, very smooth, very slick. Um, nicely made book. The book itself is sewn bound. And it comes with postcards and a little tutorial in the front of the book. So this is the front. This is the back. Here is the spine. And also it's a very thick book. Look at that. Very thick. See if I can adjust my light here a little bit. There we go. So inside, you're going to have the continents on here. And I don't know how well you can see this on the screen. Let me zoom in a little bit. You will be able to see numbers on continents. Let's go over to Europe here. All these numbers correspond to the key down here. And each, each of these numbers correspond with the page number. However, there are no page numbers on the pages themselves. I don't know if that was a mistake or if that's just something they never thought of or they thought of it and thought, no, it'd take away from the drawing. Um, but there's no page numbers to help you find the page that you're looking for to see what it is. And there is no name on the pages um, either. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so this is a nice little map of each place that they have illustrated from in the corresponding location and the corresponding page number, or I guess you could say order of illustrations in the book. So let me crack this spine a little bit. Next in here, it has a little introduction. Let me zoom in here. It has a nice introduction over here, and it also has something that I really appreciate, um, especially for beginning people who are coloring and, and things like that. They have tools and tips for coloring inside this specific book. Um, they also have inspiration for coloring. So the first one, tools and tips for coloring, they kind of show you what you can do um, color-wise and different ideas for hatching or doing things like a sky, like they're showing that, um, things like that. For the inspiration for color, what they've done is they have included every one of the illustrations in the book and have colored it for you. And there's also a little paragraph about the location and who drew it. So the illustrator is right here. It says composition and drawing, and then it will have the illustrator's name. So I thought that was a really nice feature. A lot of times this is included in the back of the book, um, so I'm not sure why they put it in the front of the book, or maybe it, that was just part of it. Um, so that's that. And it goes through every one of the illustrations that are in this book. So all total together, there are 36 illustrations. Now, I have to say, the 
paper quality in this book is fantastic. It is a card stock. Um, it's not even uh, a cheap card stock. It is a little thinner than what a high quality cardstock might be, but it is very thick paper, and I would still consider this a cardstock type of paper. And then you'll have your beginning, begin your coloring adventure here. So let me flip through these pages. I'm going to move my light here because this is just not working for me. So mediums you can use in this coloring book would include not alcohol markers. And I say that only because the, the illustrations in the book are so nice um, and so nicely done. I would hate for you to ruin the back side of the page. Alcohol markers will bleed through. Please remember that. So you can use them if you would like. If you don't like the page behind it, go ahead. Use it if you want, but it will ruin the page behind. Um, colored pencils, gel pens, ink pens. Um, gelatos, those type of uh, water-based mediums, slick sticks, even the Caran d'Ache um, water-based pastels, all those type of products would be fine to use in here. Watercolor, uh, water-based markers, things like that are perfect for pages like these. And let me do a little up close here for some of these. Do you see all that detail in there? That is really nice detail. And they included a very nice size book to um, allow you to capture that detail in your coloring. me uh, open the spine up a bit more. I'm having trouble keeping the pages open. Here we go. So overall, this is one of my favorite coloring books um, that I've kind of bought that I have not seen the reviews for. This is a really good coloring book, especially for people who um, like those travel type coloring books. Um, this has everything. It has animals, it has landscapes, it has buildings, it has patterns, it has, literally it has everything. It has people. Um, this is just a great all around coloring book. This would be great for somebody just starting off coloring and it would be great for one, um, someone who has colored for a very long time, is in the advanced stages of, of coloring or whatever you would like to call that. Just an all-around great book. There, maybe that will help. So like I was saying in the beginning, um, there are no page numbers on the pages for you to kind of quickly correspond it back to the map. So let's say you'd like to know where this was from. You cannot go back to the map and say, oh, it was number 14 or whatever, because you don't know the number of this drawing. So what you have to do is flip through the front here, the front index, and kind of look at each one of these pictures to find out which place it is. And I know this one happens to be the last one here. So um, there's no location on this particular one. It says my colorful world. So it's kind of um, all the people of the world is what it's supposed to represent. So um, there's no location on the pages and there's no page numbers. That would be my only complaint for this book. So that is it for the coloring pages of this book. Now, 
Um, these are the postcards that they include with this. And this is um, real cardstock paper. This is heavy, thick. You can hear the difference here. Um, big difference in the page quality here. Um, so there's four postcards on each of these pages. There are three pages, so, so 12 postcards are included with this coloring book. And they are pictures that are included in the book. They are just smaller versions of them. The other thing I noticed is that there is absolutely no test page in this book. Um, that would be my only other complaint. Um, test pages, as all of you know that have watched my videos, are um, one of my favorite features in a coloring book because it allows you to test the medium across the ink of the paper and also the paper of the book um, to see which medium will work better for that paper and ink. Um, so thank you for watching, and this again was Around the World in 80 Colors, Coloring Across the Continents, Coloring Book Review, and Flip Through. Thank you so much for watching, and happy coloring!